So there's been a couple of celebrity deaths this week. Uh, first it was David Bowie, 69, cancer. And just uh, today, Alan Rickman, 69, also 69, also to cancer. It got me thinking about uh, my own father who also 69 and cancer. And it really got me thinking that and it's an opinion I've had for for a while and I guess uh, probably made it a bit easier over the summer. No, no. Blah 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 blah. And that's that I think we've all got it. I think we all have cancer. I think it's a bit like the Walking Dead scenario where everyone's got it and it's really a matter of uh, whether or not it develops. But I, you know, I'm, I, I kind of feel that the only reason hundreds of years ago is that people didn't die from cancer is that one, it wasn't diagnosed and two, something else probably got them first. Now that the average life expectancy is much higher, I think that uh, I think that's got a lot to do with why you see so many people passing away from cancer. And the simple fact that, you know, we live longer, it has more time to develop, so therefore more people have it. Now, you know, I don't know if my father was a heavy smoker. You know, I don't know the circumstances of, or personal circumstances of David Bowie and Alan Rickman. You would assume that David Bowie probably led a pretty hard life in the 70s and 80s. Alan Rickman, you know, the greatest Christmas villain that there ever was, Hans Gruber. And of course, Professor Snape. And but my point is that if we all have cancer of some form living within us, then Yes, finding a cure is important, but what I think is equally more important is supporting the people that have already had it and the organisations that, that uh, assist them going through what they're going through. We all know that there's treatment for cancer with chemo and radiotherapy and you know, various other things. There are, I can tell you now from my own personal experience with my father that they're all incredibly unpleasant. The, uh, the process he went through was radiotherapy. It actually made him that sick that uh, after only a few treatments he, de he decided that uh, what he was going through with the cancer was less painful. So I guess what I'm asking for is that Yes, you know, we always see things to support cancer research, and, and yes, that's important, but what I'm asking people to do is that more than likely in your local area there'll be a hospital or uh, something that has a dedicated cancer department. Here in Geelong, it's the Andrew Love Cancer Centre, which is where my father was treated. So, you know, just every once in a while, if you are the kind of person that does donate to charitable organisations, throw a bit to their way to the people that, that are uh, looking after the, the people who aren't going to live long enough to see a cure or prevention of cancer, who have already got it, who are already dealing with it, who are already being treated with it. You know, I, I'd, I'd love to say that, you know, I had enough subscribers and my chance, channel was big enough that any money I made off this video would go to it, but it's only going to be a few cents. 
and I have donated money in the past. I did donate when uh, when my father died, and I probably should again. So, you know, if you if you're taking the time to watch this, just go out to your local. Like I can say, hospitals are normally got a uh, dedicated arm, I guess you'd say, to deal with cancer nowadays because so many people have it. Find out what you can do to just put that, you know, even if it's only a few dollars, and really help out the people who probably aren't going to benefit much from the, the research that might come in 10 or 15 years' time so they won't be here. And, you know, if you can't do that, just watch Harry Potter or Die Hard while listening to some David Bowie and remember the couple that have died this week. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet you.